Tonight, all eyes will have a laser focus on President Barack Obama and his challenger, Mitt Romney. So will it be style or substance that wins votes? News Channel 9's John Pless gives us an analysis from some young people studying the art of debate. John. Well, Kim, no matter what news network you're going to be watching tonight, there'll be plenty of pundits giving their take on the candidates before and after the debate. But right now, listen to what some young people have to say about what they will be looking for. Six honor students at Ultawa High School meet to give their analysis. They have a keen interest in politics, current events, leadership studies, and, of course, debate. First question, what will set the candidates apart? I think the big part of this is how they can conduct themselves under pressure when they don't have time to think about it. A lot of it's going to be on the spot. What will make a candidate stand out is catering to the part, like to the population that doesn't, wouldn't normally vote for them. So what will they pay more attention to? What they say or how they say it? I'm going to be looking at the body language a lot. I think it's really, you can tell a lot about a person based on their body language, you know, if they're kind of nervous and fidgeting when they're asked a question, you know, they might not necessarily be telling all of the truth. How can these young debaters tell if the candidates are being evasive or pandering to a particular group of people? If they won't directly say, I believe this, um, or if they do, but after I believe comes like this huge complicated statement. If given the chance, how would they coach the candidates? With Romney, I would have to say just deliver your message and be yourself. Be relaxed. He has a tendency to tense up in big moments. With Obama, be Look presidential. He has the image. He's the president. It's easy for him, but still he has to convey his message. Could tonight seal the deal or blow it for either candidate? I think it could clear a lot of minds as to who the front runner may become, but uh, we're still five weeks out from voting day, and I do believe that there could be a lot of movement in the polls between now and then. And that debate starts right here at 9 o'clock on News Channel 9. Kim? John, thanks so much. You know, we'll be watching.